Dogs and humans have a unique relationship that has been built over thousands of years. We've gotten to the point where we not only tolerate each other, but love and appreciate each other. However, there is one big barrier between us that still exists despite our close relationship. Language. So, you may be surprised to learn there are 10 things your dog would tell you to stop doing, if only he could. Hi there, thank you for visiting Biscuit and Friends. This video is all about the things you do that your dog hates and wishes you would stop. How many of these things are you doing? Be sure to subscribe to Biscuit and Friends for more videos like this. Let's get started. Humans don't speak dog, and dogs don't speak human, so unless you know how to read a dog's body language and you understand common dog behaviors, you won't be able to tell when you're doing something that your dog finds uncomfortable, annoying, or even scary. Now, some of these human behaviors that dogs hate are totally innocent. In fact, many times we do these things to show our dogs just how much we love them. The problem is that dogs don't understand it that way. Some of these behaviors can feel downright threatening to your dog. Now, let's get right into the list. Number one, stop hugging me. This one might surprise you. How do you show your dog you love her more than the world, if not with a big, warm hug? I know, I know, but hugging is a human behavior. To us, hugs mean love, affection, and trust. To dogs, however, it can mean quite the opposite. In the dog world, placing pressure on the back of another dog, either with a head, neck, or paw, is a sign of dominance. So when you give a dog a big hug, they may interpret it as you asserting your dominance over them. If you pay attention, you may notice the dog exhibiting signs of submission, like looking away or cowering. Now, dogs will usually tolerate a hug from someone they trust and are comfortable with, but this doesn't mean that dogs are comfortable with hugs. Make sure you are aware of your dog's body language so you'll know what types of physical affection she prefers. Number two, stop looking me in the eye for so long. This is another one that we often get wrong. In our world, holding eye contact is the best way to show someone that you like them and are interested in them. In the dog world, however, this is a sure sign of dominance. So while it's pleasant to lock eyes with your loved ones, it can be very intimidating to our furry best friends. This is especially true when you're holding eye contact with a dog you don't know. To the dog, prolonged eye contact can feel like you're challenging his dominance and can be a potentially dangerous situation. Number three. Stop not giving me enough exercise. Dogs, by nature, are very energetic. Unfortunately, people tend to have busy lives and sometimes that means we don't have enough time to give our dogs adequate exercise. When dogs go without exercise for prolonged periods, it can affect both their physical and mental health. Just like humans, regular exercise has tons of positive benefits for dogs, but what if you don't have enough time to give your dog a proper workout? If you work long hours, consider hiring someone to come give your dog a long walk halfway through the day, or enroll in a doggy daycare where your dog can spend the day playing with his peers and then come home happy and exhausted. Safe outdoor space can help too. A fenced yard where a dog can chase squirrels or other dogs is a great outlet. Be sure your dog has plenty of water and protection from the weather, of course. You can also take your dog to a fenced-in dog park where he can run off leash and get great exercise. Consider a dog's physical needs before you add them to your family. A husky needs around two hours of exercise a day, while a chihuahua would likely do fine with a couple short walks. Make sure you can supply your pet with the physical activity he needs. Number four, stop leaving me alone for so long. Like humans, Dogs are social creatures. That means that too much isolation is bad for them. You've probably heard the term separation anxiety. It is a condition that develops when your dog becomes attached to you and then gets highly stressed when you leave them alone. They can become destructive, bark or cry incessantly, or even engage in nervous activity like chewing their paws or fur. Socialize your dog early and often to build his confidence. Get him used to you being gone for short bursts of time so he knows that you'll always return. Play music or dog-friendly television while you're gone so it's not so quiet. 
make sure he's had plenty of exercise and time outside before you leave. If you must be gone for many hours at a time, consider a pet sitter, dog walker, or doggy daycare as mentioned previously. And if your lifestyle requires you to be away from the home most of the time, or you travel extensively, a dog may not be the best choice of pet for you at this time. Number 5. Stop not letting me sniff. We all love the great outdoors. Plenty of new sights to see, and for dogs, plenty of new scents too. Now, while we are outdoors, we make sure to give ourselves enough time to absorb the new sights, but oftentimes, we do not allow our dogs enough time to stop and smell the roses. Dogs absolutely hate it when we deny them the opportunity to explore and learn about their surroundings through their noses. Next time you walk your dog, consider giving him a few extra minutes to check his pee mail. <laughs> Number six, stop pulling on my leash. You're probably thinking, wait, that's not my fault. My dog basically walks me. Well, that may be true, but our responsibility as a dog owner is to keep our pets safe and leash pulling can cause damage to the trachea. Either train your dog to walk on the leash next to you or behind you without pulling, or consider another type of leash collar combo that is safer for your dog. One good option is to walk your dog with a harness. They may or may not stop pulling you, but they at least will not harm their windpipe. Or consider a gentle leader, which is a type of lead that goes around the dog's muzzle. It discourages pulling by causing the dog's head to turn to the side every time they pull. They'll quickly learn not to pull on the leash. Number seven, stop patting my head. Many dogs feel threatened when a human touches their head or face. They might interpret it as a show of dominance or an invasion of their personal space, especially if they don't know you well. Dogs with histories of abuse may also be fearful of a hand coming towards their face or head, and it can cause them to lash out and even bite. Make sure you observe your dog's body language any time you initiate physical contact so you can tell whether they are comfortable or not. Number eight, stop using strong smelling scents. Perfumes and colognes may smell nice to us, but for dogs, they absolutely hate it. Why? Because a dog's sense of smell is close to a hundred thousand times stronger than a human's. Would you still like the smell of a perfume if it was a hundred thousand times stronger? Probably not. So go easy the next time you want to spray perfume or anything else that is scented. Make sure you spray away from your dogs and have a light touch. Number nine, stop shouting at me. There's a good chance that your dog generally wants to please you, but sometimes they make mistakes or they don't know what you want. Shouting at them usually doesn't help the situation. In fact, it can make the situation worse by causing your dog to become confused about what you want and even fearful of you. Shouting at a dog for barking, for example, sometimes gets them even more riled up. They're thrilled that you're barking at the mailman too. It is up to us to stay calm and teach our dogs the behaviors we want respectfully and without shouting at them. Number 10. Stop leaving me alone in the car. Your dog probably loves to come along on car rides with you, but leaving a dog unattended in a parked car, even for a short time, can be extremely dangerous. Temperatures in a closed car, or even one with the windows cracked, can approach dangerous levels very quickly. Your dog has no water to cool down with and no way to escape. Every year, dozens of pets die from being left in a hot car. No matter how much your dog loves car rides, if there's any chance you'll have to leave them alone while you run errands, it's better to leave your pup at home. And that brings us to the end of our list of things your dog hates and wants you to stop doing. Fortunately, most of our dogs seem to love us unconditionally. They are more than likely to forgive just about anything on this list, but why not pay a little more attention to making our dogs more comfortable around us so we can both enjoy the time together even more. Thank you for visiting Biscuit and Friends. Be sure to click subscribe for more videos like this one.